I've always loved art. I actually have uh, my doctorate in education, adult education. And while I was raising kids, so I have three kids, I was always doing art. I wanted to go to art school from high school, but chose not to. There was just a point where I made the decision to keep pursuing it and then to also um, try to make it full time. That was about 10 years ago. I have a, a pretty strong teaching philosophy that um, we're all in it together. So I'm there and helping to share what I know, um, but especially because I mostly teach teenagers and adults. I want people to express on canvas what they're feeling. Let's say we talk about a flower. They may see the flower and think, oh, I just want to reproduce it. But I'm more interested in what you're feeling about that flower. So how do we get that onto, onto the canvas or onto the paper? And I, I can help, you know, helping a person think it through that way. I also teach online, which has been really cool because I've been meeting people online around the world. It's so unifying. I mean, just in, in what I'm teaching is art journaling and sort of like what, how do you um, learn about yourself through your art. And uh, it's, that's been really nice. I've liked that, um, that aspect a lot. So I'm a mixed media artist. I work mostly in acrylic, with acrylic paints, but then I, um, I almost always have scissors, glue. There's a lot of collage um, involved. I've recently been working on cardboard, so I'm cutting out, so I'm also using knives, you know, exacto knives. So it really, um, it really depends on what I need. I don't feel inhibited by anything. I want to be able to express what I want to express at the moment. And so whatever I think will do that, I use it. When I'm creating, I just sort of like go with the flow. Just let it happen. My art in some way is always coming from a place of emotion. And I often try to get people to think with my art. So there's a, a component of it of I hope people are looking and asking questions and thinking a little bit. Oddly enough, I always sort of start, I start from a concept, from a, often it'll be words or a phrase, but um, an emotion. So it might be something just really, really bothering me and I'll think, how can I express that? Or I'll be hearing a song and suddenly hear a phrase like, gallery of broken hearts. That was when I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do a painting. My latest painting, which um, actually has to do with sort of the wall being built, or the question about the wall, um, you know, what, what does that actually mean? And I have a really strong um, attachment to the environment, to nature, so like how is that going to impact humans and nature? So there's always that piece on how to express it. I always have words um, somewhere in my paintings. I've had a lot of cicadas recently, that's a, sort of a funny recurring theme, but there's something about cicadas that come out of the ground every you know, 13 to 17 years, and um, the fact they always come back no matter what's going on, um, and they're here and they just sing. There's just something about hope, and so, I'm, so the cicadas are showing up a lot, but that's at the moment. Nature's there, it's coming out stronger and stronger. I've been trying to figure out, because I'm not a landscape artist, um, how I want that to be showing up. There's often a, a, a social content also of you know something going on in the world, um, and a, a statement in some way, and a, in questions, I'm often questioning. But you have to, you know, you're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper into my paintings, which most of my paintings you can.